Hey everyone, today I'm back and um, I kind of wanted to continue a little bit off uh, the last time's video I did about Tiny Core Linux. Um, I kind of did a little showcase last time and showed you guys uh, the basic functionality of it, but today I wanted to bring you guys something a little bit different. Um, today I wanted to kind of show you guys um, essentially how to install it and how you may go about doing that. Essentially, um, it's a pretty easy process. Um, just for the simplicity of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on a virtual machine, but um, you're more than like likely to do it on uh, actual hardware if you want. Um, it might be a little bit more difficult with newer hardware, but essentially if you have older, uh, like an older laptop or PC, it might be a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we can get right into the video. So essentially, um, first step, you know, before you install it in your VM. Obviously, you want to like want to make sure you have the .iso image file. Um, for the sake of this video, to make it easy and to kind of showcase some more features, I'm going to be installing the Tiny Core Plus ISO, and you can put it in whatever directory you want that you typically put your ISO files in for your virtual machines. And um, once you install that, um, essentially, you'll kind of want to go to your uh, virtual machine manager and just click uh, create a new virtual machine. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to call this one Tiny Core. Tiny Core YT for YouTube, and then keep it in this VirtualBox VM folder. And then our ISO image, um, we're gonna have to make sure that we got the right one. Um, it, for me, it's already in my list, but if for you, if it's not, you'll have to go to other and find it within your file directory and then click it. But here, it's right here for me, so I'll just do that. And then this one, uh, really kind of important here, um, we're gonna make sure we wanna select other, or actually Linux, and then other Linux, should be down here, and then 64-bit. And then after doing that, um, just a couple more things to check off here. I'm going to skip it. Unintended install. And then for the memory of the system, um, I'm just going to do like 2 gigs. Again, like it's called Tiny Core for a reason. It's meant to be tiny, so you don't need a ton. And then for processors, I'm just going to do 4. Do, do 4 cores. Should be good there. And then hard disk, you don't really need much either. Um, for the sake of this video, I think I'm just going to do... Let me check my notes here. Um, I think I'm just going to do, mm, probably keep it, we'll do uh, 15 just to be safe. Um, you know, maybe give us a little bit of extra room and whatnot if we need it. Um, so we'll do, that should be it. And then we'll do finish. And then if we head over um, to our virtual machine manager, I can drag that over here. We'll see at the bottom we have uh, tiny core YT. And then we can go ahead and click start on that. And just do normal start. And it should pop up. Let me drag this over. Yep. All right. And then this is what we see here when we first boot up the machine. Um, basically like a simple boot screen, you know, nothing too fancy. Uh, for the sake of this video, I am going to go with the FLWM Classic Window Manager. It's the X-based uh, you know, Windows uh, GUI and whatnot, Window Manager. So we're just going to go with that, click enter, and then it's going to go through a little bit of a process. Going to install some packages, set up the partitioning. Um, do some basic stuff. And actually, before it does any of that, it's going to go into a live image. That's right. I kind of forgot about this. Um, let me scale up my VM here uh, for the sake of this video. Um, so, yeah, I think yeah, something got screwed up in my VM. Sorry about that. But anyways, um, so as you can see, this is we're in like a live like live image. You know, if you're familiar with Linux, um, we've done that before. But here we can just do some tests, um, run some commands and whatnot. Just get a little feel. If you want to try it out before, kind of like a try before you buy type thing. But we can just do like a ping. Um, see if we can do like a quad nine DNS just to show like. Yeah, see there we go. We got a little bit of a ping action going on. All right, cool. And um, essentially, it's really easy from here. What we can do is uh, we just navigate to the menu down here. Let me get this over here. And then we just click the TC install logo right here. And then here is where you'll, where you'll want to select um, like how you're gonna install it and where you're gonna install it. So if here, I'm gonna do frugal, whole disk, SDA, that can be our uh, standard, um, standard disk drive, whatever you wanna call it, your main partition. Um, and then, and then we should select that. Yep, you'll select your disk and then you'll go next. And then I just leave it as ext4. You can change it if you want, no big deal. And then this um, is your boot refer options reference list. You can take a look and review this if you need to. But this is essentially a couple other settings if you want to modify them or uh, add these in if you wish. And next. And then here's a couple more installation options. Um, you can, you know, actually obviously install the the core only, or if you want to do the desktop like we're doing. And then if you want to install some uh, extra utilities, um, let's just say we want to have some Wi-Fi stuff, 
and then we can install some of this um, just you know just in case we wanted some extra functionality pretty cool that they offer that right away it makes it pretty easy and then next and then this is just like a final checklist screen before we continue and then we can click proceed and then it should start installing um, we'll give it some time here it shouldn't take too long um, should be pretty quick actually um, cause it's very like I said it's tiny core but you know, sometimes things can get screwed up, but we'll just give it a minute here. Yep, already installation has completed. All right, cool. Yeah, so from that, um, we'll have to reboot the machine. Um, and let me shut this down here. I'll show you guys how to do this. We can just do shut down. Okay, killing all processes. And then essentially, I'm gonna go to our settings on this machine. And then go to storage, and we're going to unmount this uh, ISO right here. Uh, we don't need that because it's already installed, so we don't need that installer. And then we can click OK, and then we'll go to start, start it back up, get it going in our VM here. And it should be booting up. Um, and now we're going off tiny core that was installed to our uh, actual hard disk. And let me kind of full screen this here in one moment, please. Uh, let's see, view, full screen mode, switch. There we go. And there we have it, we have tiny core in the flesh. Um, let me do some commands here, just kind of proof it for you guys. Yep, you can see here, uh, let's see, let me drag this out a little. Yeah, you can see that we have our file system, um, dev sda1, 15.1 gigs, and you can see that we have it installed here, and then obviously tiny core, um, it runs a lot of components were in the RAM on the device, so that's pretty cool there. And then obviously we can install stuff, um, you know, we can do some other checks to make sure the system's running and whatnot, you know, just to be safe. Um, but uh, we can use the uh, the um, application tool. Um, we want to find, like, the fastest mirror, essentially, to make sure that, you know, when you install an application, uh, make sure you can install it easily um, and whatnot. But yeah, essentially, that's how you install Tiny Core Linux. Pretty pretty simple and uh, easy process um, from the get-go you know it's not pretty much it's not too much different than any other Linux distro that's out there you know they make it pretty easy nowadays um, it could be you know some of them are a little bit harder but yeah essentially that is how you install tiny core Linux um, if you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and or subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace